On this dreary late November morning, Murphy Farms in Dorchester County is in transition. Earlier this week, the latest crop of chickens made their exit, off to Mount Air Farms for processing. Now, a cutting-edge system designed to manage the tons of manure they left behind is about to make an entrance. This is the elevator that I was speaking about earlier that actually brings the manure up and takes it into the combustion chamber. If all goes as planned, soon it will be used as fuel. I believe this is going to be the game changer right here. For poultry growers like Bob Murphy and his sons Brad and J.D., the rules of the game have been changing for a while now. Farmers have always used manure as a free, nutrient-rich fertilizer. But in recent decades, scientists have found that long-term application has saturated the soil on some eastern shore poultry farms. The main offender is phosphorus. Plants are slow to use it, allowing it, in some cases, to escape the farm and make its way into the Chesapeake Bay and its tributaries, where it spells disaster for aquatic life. It's going to be a time when we're not going to be able to use it on farms. I got one farm right now that I can't apply no manure to at all. State regulations now limit how much manure farmers can spread on crops. About 18% of farm fields have restrictions. But of course, the birds still produce it. Each year, Eastern Shore farmers empty about 330,000 tons of poultry litter from their chicken houses. Bob's hoping this fluidized bed combustion unit, engineered and shipped from Ireland, could be a bay-friendly way to get rid of it. We're going to take the manure, we're going to put it into the unit. It's got a fluidized bed. We're actually going to burn the manure. The heat generated will be pumped back into the chicken houses in the form of radiant heating, eliminating the need for propane. The rest of the energy will be converted to electricity and sent back to the grid. The only byproducts are ash and a little sand, and the manufacturer claims it's so efficient, the emissions are mostly water vapor. I'm excited. Can't wait to, to light her off. And once they do, in theory, Bob and his sons shouldn't have to touch it. Any parameter changes that need to be done can be done from Ireland. But first, a team of Irish engineers, overseen by supply chain manager Michael McHenry, is here in the States working out the kinks. What we like to see is a machine running nice, constant levels, always the same temperatures. So the more even the machine runs, it cleans, it burns cleaner, and it gives a more even heat distribution. And that takes a steady stream of chicken litter. This is the area where our manure will be stored. And as a machine senses that it needs manure, to run, this loader will go back, it will collect the manure, bring it up, automatically will take it in and feed the machine. Today, they're calibrating with wood chips. And by late December, it's up and running, consuming eight to 10 tons of litter a day. And the heat produced should create a nicer environment for the birds. It's gonna be a much drier atmosphere. We will not have the the heat coming off the propane heaters will have a CO2 problem. That's going to be gone. The ammonia is going to be gone. There's going to be absolutely probably no ammonia at all. Over the next year, Dr. Jonathan Moyle with the University of Maryland Extension will be testing those claims, comparing birds grown with the new system to chickens raised the traditional way. My role in this is to look at bird performance. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that the birds grow as good or better. The project has taken three years and about $3 million to complete. About a million came from the state of Maryland. BHSL, the Irish company that makes it, picked up the rest of the tab. The company's installed several in the UK, but this is the first in the United States. This is going to transform the way chicken is grown. Basically, up to now, we produce chicken. That's our core product. But now the fuel, the, the byproduct from that process, is also a resource for the farm. And when you put it through this combustion technology, you get the energy needs for the farm. And then you have an ash, which is a fertilizer value at the back end. To date, the Maryland Department of Agriculture has awarded grants to six different projects like this one. All of them aim to provide a better way to manage manure. We don't expect that all of them will be 100% successful, but if we can just get two or three that really work well, then that'll give opportunities, I guess, for farmers to actually choose what works best for them. The hope is that as the technology is tested and perfected, the price will drop. New solutions sorely needed to sustain a growing industry and a way of life. That's what makes the Eastern Shores poultry. I mean, 
it's here and it needs to be here to stay. And we need all the support we can get from state and local and government officials to, to help us. Because you take poultry off the shore, you might as well pack it up. The shore's gonna be history, I can tell you.